Hey guys, how's it going? We've all been there, we're in a match. Then, out of nowhere, your opponent starts doing some really cheap stuff, and you get so annoyed about it that you rage quit. In general, it's bad to rage quit, but believe it or not, there are actually some times where it's perfectly alright to rage quit on your opponent. And today, we will be going over some of them, but before we start, please consider subscribing. It helps out the channel and lets you know when I upload new videos. We're still on the road to 1000 and we are so, so close, so please don't forget to subscribe. Anyway, back to the video. Rage quitting happens in every fighting game, whether it be My Hero 1's Justice 2, Demon Slayer, Street Fighter, or even Mortal Kombat. People will rage quit. Hell! Even in non-fighting games like GTA 5 it happens. 99% of the time though, it's for no reason other than being salty. It's as if these people think, oh hey, because I rage quit I didn't technically lose. But yes, you lost and you suck for rage quitting. But there are some circumstances where you can rage quit for the most part and it's acceptable and you won't get clowned on. But in general guys, please don't rage quit. First of all, I'd like to go over what doesn't warrant a rage quit. Number one, if your opponent is spamming, yes it's annoying, yes sometimes it's difficult to get around, and yes they could be playing the character so much more optimally, but you have to realise, the people who spam are either A, new to the game and don't know any better, or B, are just bad at the game. Guys, all spam is beatable, you just have to practice and find ways to deal with it. Unless it's midnight, of course, all you can do is run away, because for some reason midnight's stupidly broken. Number two. When your opponent is better than you, a lot of times in My Hero 1's Justice 2, you will run into players that are just simply better than you because they've been playing the game a lot longer. This is probably the type of rage quit I get the most when people rage quit on me. I message them, nothing toxic, just asking like, hey, why did you rage quit? And 6 times out of 10, they will say it's because they were going to lose anyway. While I and a lot of other players understand that, in My Hero 1's Justice 2, there can be a huge skill gap in terms of players. For example, let's say Mr. 100 Point Jimmy gets matched against someone like Devil or Windboy. They will probably lose, but from playing and finishing these matches, you gain experience. So when you fight them again, or fight someone else who uses the same characters, you have a better understanding and chance of how to beat them. Number three, your opponent has a tiny bit of lag. Yes, lag is annoying and can get to the point where a match is literally unplayable, but if it's it's only a tiny bit of lag, don't rage quit. It's manageable. I couldn't think of any more, so let's get into the situations where you can rage quit and it's completely acceptable. Number one, and I want to get this one out of the way first since this is the most grey area one, when your opponent is being toxic. There are times in My Hero 1's Justice 2 where your opponent, being the complete loser that they are, will wall splat or flow splat you and start troll spinning or guard spamming or this. Yeah, I don't really have a name for this one, but it's toxic nonetheless. It is so annoying annoying when people do this to you because there is no reason to do it other than being a clown. If they do this once, it's not so bad, but when they do it at every single opportunity that they get, after every single wall splat, if somebody does this to you, feel free to rage quit on them. The reason this can be a great area though is because there are some players who will do this but mean it in a friendly way. Like they won't wall splat you then do it, they will just randomly do it around the map or at the start of a match. The good thing though is that it's very easy to tell when somebody's doing this in a friendly way as opposed to a toxic way. But overall, you have to be the judge of this one. The other thing as well, if somebody is constantly wall splatting, floor splatting, and just being toxic overall with the troll spins and everything, they're probably going to message you if they win or if they lose. If they win, it'll be to gloat. If they lose, it'll be to rage. So just do yourself a favor and rage quit on these people. They're not worth your time. Number two, this next one is very circumstantial. Let's call these people the low health plus ultra tours. These people are the players that will get you to low health. And when I say low health, I mean like 10% or lower. Then at the first chance they get will unnecessarily plus ultra to you. Now, there are times when you kind of need to PU2 when you're at low health. For example, let's say you're doing a combo that should kill your opponent, but then their assist comes back. You need to plus ultra 2 because they could easily break your combo with the assist. 
The point where it starts to get annoying is when they do the plus ultra 2 when a regular combo could have easily killed. The only problem with this one is that some people do this not to be toxic but just because they like seeing the plus ultra 2 animation and most of the time you can't tell the difference between these so it's up to you if you want to rage quit or not. For me I would only rage quit if somebody did this when it was completely unnecessary like if I was on 1% health with no assists charged and they could have easily gotten a combo on me and they just do the PU2. The next one is kind of an extension onto the first one and that's people that camp just guards. Now I'll be honest with you guys, luckily there are only like 7 players in the entire game who can do this and only like 2 of them would ever use this in a toxic way. But for those of you that don't know what this is, I'll give you an example. It's when your opponent doesn't attack, they don't approach you, they don't do anything, they'll wait for you to come close and then as soon as you attack just just guard it. Now, just garden is a little bit tricky, but once you get the hang of it, it's pretty easy to do. But there are always people in the game who will abuse this mechanic and just wait for you to approach since it's way easier to just guard when you know an attack is coming as opposed to when you don't know one's coming. If they're camping just guards, they're most likely doing the other stuff as well that I mentioned in the first reason you can rage quit. So honestly, just go ahead and rage quit on them. The next one you can rage quit without a problem on is laggy players. Now I know I said earlier, if there's a little bit of lag, just bear with it. But when I say laggy players, I mean laggy laggy players to the point where you physically cannot play the game, constant stutters, delay up the wazoo and disconnection messages popping up every two seconds. This is not the way to play a fighting game and I understand that some people just don't have good internet as others but at the same time if your internet is that bad it's probably affecting you too in the match so maybe stick to the offline modes. And the final reason you can rage quit and it not be a problem, hell technically you're not even rage quitting on this one, the game is doing it for you and that is match disconnections. This happens way more than it should. You'll be playing in a match then all of a sudden boop match disconnects and sends you back to the lobby. When me and Kun Ninja hosted a tournament, this happened three times in a row in finals. It can genuinely be so frustrating. The worst part is though, when other people think that you rage quit and start messaging you calling you anything they can think of. So for all of you right now, I'm going to show you the difference between a rage quit and a disconnect. The one on the left is a room disconnect. The one on the right is a rage quit. You can tell the difference because the room disconnect is an instant, whereas the rage quit you'll get the timer in the bottom right corner. The reason this one is acceptable is because you or your opponent have no control over this and the only people to blame are biking for not fixing this issue that's been here since launch. And that's all the reasons you have to rage quit and get away with it. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Hope you enjoyed the video, thank you for watching and I will see you next time.